so these frames are pretty easy to make um, you'll be needing a tape proof for measuring um, your Bible your pencil your marker whichever one works for you as well as your laminating paper this is very easy you can find them in any stationery store anywhere that they do photocopying and lamination so that's pretty easy to find um, you will also needing your tape now I got this black tape but I wanted the fatter one but for that day I just couldn't find it anywhere around where I stay so I had to make do with this one but if you have the black tape that is fine so you can make use of that instead um, so yeah so for your printout just go on Pinterest you have like a whole lot of ideas on there anyone you like just go to um, a photocopying store whatever and print it out if you want it in black and white put it out in black and white if you want it colored put it out in colored like Pinterest is where you want to be. You also be needing your scissors for cutting as well, and um, also um, the cotton. Let's not forget the cotton. The cotton is really like the backbone, like it's literally the backbone of this project. Okay, your cotton is very important. And make sure you have a firm cotton. Don't go and use those kind of cottons that are already like really soft, because that will affect the whole feel of it. So make sure you use a firm cotton. So yeah, let's get right into it. So the first thing you want to do is cut out. Um, your cotton with the size of the lamination paper or the printout so my lamination paper i'm calling it lamination paper because i really don't know what it's called lamination paper and the printout is a4 so i'm trying to cut out that a4 size from the cotton because i really don't want to waste it because I, I have like a whole lot of projects to do as well with the rest so yeah you just want to cut that out from the cotton so you're making use of what is really needed so avoid wastage basically so make sure it's straight make sure your hand is straight and just cut just mark that out your bio and then go ahead to cut it with your scissors after that's done you can see the print out the carton is of the same size because I, like i said the printout is in a4 and the lamination paper which i used to cut out the carton is also in a4 so it's like a perfect size right so they all have to be of the same size you don't have to use a4 you can use any size you want okay because that would determine your um, frame size basically so after that is done now what you want to do now is mark out an inch on the carton as you can see i did not mark it out on the lamination um line on it is marked out on the carton okay so i marked an inch on the side on each side left and right i also marked an inch on um the top and the bottom side okay so as you can see i, I want an inch okay that means i want the tape to be an inch i want it to cover an inch of the carton okay of the project if you want yours to be smaller if you want um, a smaller um tape you can use half an inch it depends i did different i did various um projects with this so some i used an inch some i used after an, half an inch so you get to see the difference later okay so what you want to do now is tape down the lamination paper or lamination sheets um to the carton okay so that's what i'm trying to do now so just watch So I don't know if you guys noticed but the weather has kind of changed a bit that's because after I taped that down I realized that my um, tape had finished so I had to go outside to get more tapes and when I went downstairs to get more tape I decided to print out more pictures look at here I'm so addicted to Pinterest right now and I keep seeing pictures I like pictures I love I I loved this one to the T. It was my favorite. So yeah, I decided to use this picture instead of the first picture I was going with before, which was the black and white picture. So now this picture I'm going to be using for this frame. I'm sorry, okay? I changed my mind. I'm still going to do that other one, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to switch to this one because I actually fell in love with that picture. Okay, so I printed out a bunch of pictures that I love, and this one I wanted to use earlier, but then I've changed my mind, okay? I want to use the gold one this gold one which i love okay so this is what i'm going to be using now so yeah just watch me as i do that okay so as you can see um um you see i taped down the two sides but i removed one side okay so one side is still taped down as you can see this side is taped down it's taped down to the cardboard but the other side i opened it so i can insert the picture inside okay um you can as well go ahead to not tape down this 
other side that is opened and just it's hard to picture before taping it down but i just prefer to tape mine down it was, it's easier for me okay so yeah i'm just trying to insert the picture please make sure it is flat like flat 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 like your wig okay for guys i don't know what is flat for you guys i don't know but for ladies okay now you want your wig to be flat flat that's how you want this picture to be flat flat inside okay and so when that is flat and that's done and you are satisfied with how it looks and how it's inserted you can as well go ahead to tape it down back okay so yeah it's pretty easy 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 breezy um just tape that down like i'm doing tape it down nice and easy okay so now you have this picture as you can see the down um there's a bit of um white part added down as you can see there so i went ahead to cut that out so i cut the top so that they can be equal basically i don't know if you guys notice so now the white part is equal top and bottom and that's where i'm going to be um taping down this upside i'm going to be taping it down as well as the downside is going to be taped down our film is almost ready i'm so excited okay so this is what it looks like after the sides have been taped down um i particularly love this picture i don't know why it just speaks to me okay so yeah i made a whole bunch of art this weekend and i really enjoyed making them so this is what it looks like on the wall you want to use a double-sided tape to tape this down so it's neat you get there's this pride you get when you make something yourself i can't explain it but that's how i feel i'm actually so proud of these i know they're just like little items but i'm so proud of it i don't even care okay so yeah if you loved watching this please give me this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel um if you are interested in making one of these yourself please do and let me know how it goes in the comment section thank you so much for watching to this point and i guess i will see you guys next time bye